Today, I will show you how to make objects dissolve with motion design in Unreal Engine 5.5. Plus, you can even reverse this effect to make objects appear. The first thing you need to do is download an object to dissolve. For this tutorial, I'll be using this Roman statue. I also downloaded this small stones pack, which will create a more dynamic dissolve effect. Now let's go ahead and add our object to our scene and zero at its location. It's time to head over to motion design mode. If you don't see motion design, make sure your plugins for motion design is enabled. Now hit this operation stack and with your object selected, hit add modifier and under conversion, select dynamic mesh converter. Now when we go to add modifiers, we see a lot more options here. Let's select plain cut. Let's go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees on the Z axis so we get a profile cut. We can play with the plane origin. I want it to be over here for frame zero and then we can key it and this will add it to our sequencer. If you don't see a sequencer, you can add one right here. And now let's go ahead and go to our last frame. And so now let's go ahead and adjust this. I'm gonna make it negative 12. We can go ahead and key that. Hit play. We see our object is disappearing, but this is really sharp. So in order to make it more dynamic, I'm gonna add some stones and a cloner. So let's go ahead and add the stones now. Select the stones and drag them in the scene. Let's zero them out. And let me go here. Now I want the stones to match the material of my object. So I'm gonna select my object and go to the folder with the material, make sure that's selected, and then select all the stones and hit this button to apply the material. Now let's go ahead and make sure they're set to movable. This will allow us to drag them into the cloner. In motion design, go to actors and add the cloner to the scene. Let's select the cloner and zero out its location and rotation and delete the default cube. Select all the stones and drag and drop them into the cloner. Let's select the cloner and under layout, change it from grid to mesh. We can use this picker tool to select our object and now you're done. Just kidding. Um, let's go down to sample data and change it from vertices to triangles. And let's change the count. Let's make this a lot higher. Let's make this 12,000. And now we got a lot of stones on our head. So let's go ahead and check on enable. And I wanna give more variety to the stones. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the rotation max 180 for the X, Y, and Z. And I'm also gonna make the scale max zero. It won't actually make it zero. It's gonna make it 0 0.0001, but to the camera, it won't appear. And so to make it appear, we're gonna to need to add an effector and scale the rocks that way. So with the cloner selected, find effector and hit create linked effector. Now under shape, change it from sphere to box. And let's go ahead and change the easing too to in out sign. And now for inner and outer extent, let's go ahead and select this lock and make it free, free. I'm gonna hit G so that we can see what the effector looks like too. So for the X, I'm gonna make this one. And for the Y, I'm gonna make this 25. And then for the outer range, I'm gonna make this three for the X and 50 for the X and Y. And now let's scroll down until we get to mode and under scale, let's go ahead and change this to a thousand. And now we see some stones appearing with our effector here. Let's go ahead and add the effector to our sequencer and hit this plus button to add a transform. Let's go to frame zero and move the effector over. We're trying to match our plane cut. We can go ahead and key that and then go to our last frame and pull this over Let's make sure it's looking good along the animation. So I'm gonna pull this over so it's more centered to the plane cut, and I'm gonna add another key. Let's select this key and hit four to make it linear. That will make sure that it doesn't ease in and ease out. I just want that to happen at the beginning and end. So now let's go towards the end and push this forward a bit to match that plane cut again. And it's a linear key, you can tell because it's a triangle. Go ahead and play the effect. And that's looking great. And boom, our object is dissolving. You can even reverse this effect to make your object appear. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I think you'll like the one that just popped on the screen. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Unreal Engine tips and tricks. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.